I've got to do some pipe threading today, so I thought I'd just take a few minutes to do a little video on it. I don't know that anybody's actually going to do this, but might be interested in the, uh, how the process is. This is a threading die <clears throat> for um, the external part of the pipe, and uh, I inherited this from my grandfather. This is actually a rigid, um, and this is this is the die. Well, that's the die right there. That's a three-quarter um, die. And then I also have a half-inch die, but that's all I have is those two. You can buy these in sets at Harbor Freight um, for quite a bit uh, more reasonable price. Uh, but there's individual cutters in here that you can replace. Here's some that Here's some old ones uh, that I replaced in my half inch die just a short time ago. That's the one I use most often. Uh, but you just you take this cap off and drop them down in there. So you can replace these dies um, in there. All right, so let me uh, get over to a piece of pipe and we'll do some threading. All right, so I'm placing my pipe in an actual pipe vise. A lot of uh, bench vices have some jaws in it that will actually grip pipe pretty well. Um, and in order to thread, you need um, a really tight vise because it puts a lot of uh, torque on it uh, to try to thread it. So here is my pipe, and I've got it marked as to where I want to cut it off. And you could cut this off with a hacksaw. If you're going to be doing threading, though, I mean, you need to get it pretty straight. So um, it's better to use something like this, a dedicated pipe threader. These have replaceable blades on them too. They last a really long time, especially if you're, you know, just a homeowner like me. And so you just tighten this down and just get it. So you want to make sure that the wheels are straight. Just get it just a little bit tight and run it around. Now what I normally do is I give this, I give it a half turn. Every time I go around, sometimes I'll go around twice. You can tell it can be it'll be kind of stiff to turn, and then as it then it gets easier, it's time to tighten it down. But I, like I said, I tighten it about a half a turn every time I come around. And there you can see it cut it right off. All right, so now we're ready to thread that. I'm going to put a little thread cutting oil. This is uh, Tap Magic. It's not really made specifically for cutting threads on pipe, but it works really well. And I have it for cutting threads on other things. Now, this, this particular um, pipe threader, like I said, it's a rigid. It's got a button here that you can use to, this shows which way it's going to ratchet, or which way the, you're going to be able to push it. Um, and then, it'll, of course, it'll ratchet in the other uh, direction. You want to slide it on. You want this to make your uh, make sure that the pipe is straight. So you slide it into this hole and you let it slide up on there. Now the teeth um, are going to engage right here. And what you do is you just I push right here and just start working this on, and you'll feel it start grabbing. You can see it's ratcheting in this direction. Then after you've uh, cut a few threads, you'll want to flip this and back it off to, to knock those threads loose and then you come back the next way because it'll start building up and getting kind of tight. Let me get you in here where you can actually see this thing cutting. All right, so here's a look down inside the cutter. And I'm gonna just put a little oil right there. And here we go. You can see the shaving starting to curl up there. And we're starting to make threads. Now you can see how that's kind of curled up and built up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that lever over the other way and just until I knock those off and then I come back the other way. And I'll keep doing that throughout the process. Give it a little more oil.
I normally cut threads until I get pretty much even with the outside there. It gives me a consistent length on my threads. And so now that we've got them cut, uh, we're going to back this off. All right, so this is the direction you are when you're cutting the threads. And so now we're going to flip it around and we're going to start removing it. You just work it backwards. Of course, it'll turn a whole lot easier this way because you're not cutting threads. And then we can just slide it off. And there's our new threads. Let me give you a close-up of those. All right, so there you go. So you can see it just does a beautiful job of cutting threads. Now, you may ask why bother to cut threads when you can buy pipe that already has threads cut on it. Um, and the reason is, is when you're, like what I'm doing today, I'm running some propane line to my furnace, my aluminum melting furnace. And so I'm making a, I'm coming down with a piece of pipe and then I've got to jog over a wall and then come this way. So the piece that's in this little short wall has to be exactly the right length. So that's what I'm doing uh, with this piece of pipe. All right, so now that I've got it cut, um, I, I want to seal, put, I want to put a fitting on there and I need some sealant to uh, keep the propane from leaking out. And this is uh, called Rector Seal and it's kind of thick gooey looking kind of stuff and for pipes let me see I think it says on here somewhere for pipes up to um, inch and a quarter you just put this on the male threads and what I usually do is just wipe it make sure your threads are clean and then wipe it around like this and then I come back and kind of wipe it this way to load the load it into the threads. Now, like I said, it says for uh, pipe under inch and a quarter, you just do the male threads. Um, this is three quarters, so I don't need to do this, but I always put a little bit. I don't go all the way in, but I put a little bit on the inside too. I'm sure somebody out there is going to tell me I shouldn't be doing that. But the only thing it might do is it'll build up a little bit. Um, It'll push it, if you get too much in there, it'll push it in and it can kind of clog that up a little bit, but I really haven't found that to be much of a problem. Okay, and then we just start that fitting on there. And we're gonna need a pipe wrench to tighten that up. And then I just wipe away the excess. And there you have it. And now this uh, this pipe is ready to go into service. Well, I hope that was helpful, or at least use. Uh, well, I hope that was uh, helpful, or at least interesting to you. Thank you for watching.